You want to know why three and a half years ago I went with the carburetor? The Edelbrock Performer intake. You know, this is a Holley 600, but I went with something different. And the uh, Cutlass. Today's the 7th of January. I've been uh, doing wiring and more wiring and more wiring. That's the reason. People choose carburetors, even on newer engines, simply because it's simple. The box, I got the MSD controller put away. You got the controller, you wire your coil packs, you wire your uh, cam sensor, your crank sensor, of course your ground and your positive, and your key, key hot, and then your uh, map sensor. And you throw fuel at it, and the darn thing runs. You get it running in an afternoon. How long have I been working on this thing? Granted, I could have had it done in a week. Um, I started November cutting the harness and just little by little nit nicking away at it, you know. And today I'm, there's where I've gotten so far. Uh, relays and a fuse panel for the computer. And a little fuse block here, wired. Big 12 volt cable going directly to the battery. 12 volt going to the relays for the fuel pump and for the main harness for the computer. I'm still wiring and still wiring because I'd like to make things look nice and neat. Tax wired up. This is now I'm going to make it look cleaner than this. Tack, 12 volt key. I still need to wire my oxygen sensors. There's for bank one, sensor one. So you get these naysayers piss and moan online wondering, you know, last car, a vehicle in the United States had a carburetor was the 90 Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser Wagon. Why old obsolete technology? Well, it's simple and it works. And sometimes it's not feasible. In some situations, it's more daunting to go with an EFI setup. But I'm finally biting the bullet and after all this fun wiring and mess, it better pay off. Carburetor? Fuel injection. Take your pick. If you're just starting out and you got an older vehicle that does not have any emissions, uh, you don't have to have emissions inspections depending on what state or country you're from, throw a carburetor on it. And then after you get your feet wet like I did, get a hold of a truck harness or a car harness and the computer, get yourself hooked up with a good tuner and go from there. Like I said, that's where I started off. I did it for three, three and a half years, and I got lucky and I got that truck. So, that wrecked avalanche. Carburetor. A fuel injection. This motor's going in my 83 Olds Custom Cruiser Wagon you guys saw in the other video. It's just going to be a good cruiser. I'm not looking for, um, you know, any doing any serious performance with it. Just a good, everyday driver. Uh, I may upgrade the cam something it'll be mild but with a tighter lobe separation for increased low end torque we shall see thanks guys and uh keep you updated how things go